up, guys? Disney Chubs back at it again, and what are we doing today? Are you too chubby to fit in at DCA? Let's hope not. What up, Chubbers? So this video was recorded during quarantine. I know the parks are closed at the time, so we decided not to post a video, but here you go. All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about, you guys requested it, and we're doing it. We're talking no. about a long time ago. Yeah, no, you got, we're sorry, but, you know. We're getting to it. We're getting to it now. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, whether you're too chubby to uh, do all the rides over at Disney, Disney. California Adventure. Exactly. For all of you who don't know, we call it DCA. So when you first walk in the park, you head down basically like a main street. Um, for some of you who've been there, you know what we're talking about. Um, it's called Buena Vista Street, actually, not Main Street. It's Buena Vista Street. So you basically get to like a hub type deal too. You can go left, you go straight, or you go right. So when you make a left, if you're looking straight on, you make a left from the hub, the water fountain, whatever you want to call it. Um, you go into Hollywood Land. And Hollywood Land is really small, not really much going on there. And then it um, goes into Guardians of the Galaxy. And then from there, it will lead into eventually when they get done with it, um, Avengers Campus, Campus. AKA, Marvel Land. Mm -hmm. um, so in Hollywood Land, you have, I believe, one ride, and that is Monsters, Monsters Inc. Inc. Yeah. And it used to be <laughs> Superstar Limo a long time ago, and thank mm -hmm. God it's not that no more. Um, and it's basically just a lap bar. It's two rows. You get into a car. There's no, there's no turnstiles if I can remember correctly. No. Um, there's no door that you have to figure out how you're gonna get your butt through. Like it's nothing like that. It's just one big lap bar, and you. It's almost it. like uh, uh, Astro Blasters. Yeah, it's just one big lap bar. You can get it down, no problem. I, I haven't seen anyone have problems. I no. don't think you've had problems. Two people can fit, two chubby people yeah. can fit in there, no problem. Probably even two chubby people and a small child. Yeah. Because the, the rows are pretty long. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's, there's uh, enough space for everybody and all your chip chips. The next ride that you have is the Guardians of the Galaxy which I went on it and back in the day, the first time and the last time I'll ever ride that ride, which was Tower of Terror, and I fit fine. It's, it's just seat belts and yeah. their benches, basically. And How's the walkway studio, to get through? It's fine. I mean, there's no, there's nothing really you have to worry about. Okay. You can sit, you can walk all the way to the back and not have any issues. Really? Um, what would be one of your tips? No, like I said, like always, always, if you're chubby and you have trouble uh, locking that seatbelt, Pull the seatbelt out first, and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. um, sit down and lock it in. Mm -hmm. That way, it makes it a lot easier, and it goes faster too. That <laughs> way too. Yeah. Um, any turnstiles? Uh, no. No. Uh, I don't remember any turnstiles. Um, also, the thing that um, when you first walk in the park, I forgot to talk about this because it's under construction right now. Um, is the little red trolley? Um, it's just basically like uh, a little red trolley, exactly what it is, and it just has doors and open seating, no seatbelts, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, uh, is there a handicap access to that? I can't remember. I can't remember, but I think so. I, I think, think if I remember does. correctly, I think so. It's one side is handicap, one side isn't. They have to go on the other side and then the ramp goes up. I think so. I can't remember right now. Oh, it's, it's been a long time. Yeah. That thing's been our construction. Okay, so if we were to backtrack and we go back to the hub, you go to the right. And that's basically like Grizzly Peak, Grizzly Falls, all those type of things. I think the first ride that you come up on is Thorn Over the World, oh, aka world. California. Um, I wish it goes back to being Thorn Over California. Um, I want to say it's just a seatbelt, um, and it goes up, and it's a big Isn't screen, a right? Like no, no, it's just a seatbelt. Oh, okay. But it also has that one that goes in between your legs for a kid. I don't know, whatever. But it's just a seatbelt. Same thing. Pull it out before you sit down, and. Um, buckle in but i would say this tend to sit in the middle of the row don't sit on the sides because they have like this this bar thing so you're stuck up against the bar so i would say sit more towards the middle and next to someone like how we are right now so that if you do have overflow it kind of just you know proportions out like a, like a muffin. um <laughs> After that, what's the next ride after that? Is it Grizzly Run or Grizzly River Rapids? River Rapids, whatever. It's the one where you have to like sit in the circle and it's like you just get drenched on it. Mm -hmm. Um, you can always pick up uh, those little poncho things mm -hmm. before you get on it. Um, 
if you i would say this there i learned a little trick if you are a little bit bigger sit in the middle seats don't sit on the side seats sit in the two or, middle you know, the entrance like you sit towards the inside not, yeah not towards that uh, um where you step out you step in yeah like you want to sit in those two seats in the middle because those seat belts are longer and they're um adjustable plastic ones but they're not like the regular really long seat belts like you no. have like on indiana or anything like that it's an actual like plastic clip belt thing yeah so sit on the two insides i would yeah. have to say those no, yeah the ones that are closer to the edge so that like the entrance of the of the where you step in and step yeah, out of the Raft thing. thing, um, those are shorter. Shorter for so, whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know why, but they're shorter. But um, the ones on the inside of it are are a little longer. So if you guys are if the sequel doesn't match over, just move over to the inside. You know, mm -hmm. have the the little ones are the yeah ones closer to the entrance. Someone who's less chip. Yeah. Um, okay, so if you're gonna go, that that's basically the two rides in that area. Like rides, everything else is just like little things that they do when there's like a nature course thing that you walk or do or whatever um which has nothing to do with chubby people <laughs> no so we're not gonna no talk about that. um maybe if you're like oh i need to go get a churro there because the other lines are long that's what you would do mm -hmm. um but if you were to go straight from the hub like i was saying you go down and basically you can go into cars land or you can keep on going forward so if you go into cars land there's how many rides two rides no there's three there's three rides i'm sorry so the first ride is um, Tomater Jamboree. Tomater Jamboree. And it's just a lap bar, right? Uh, yeah. Is it a lap bar or a seatbelt? No, it's just oh, a it's bar a, that it's comes a lap down. Bar. Yeah, it's a lap bar. That one's like... Um, I step would, in, step out. I, uh, two chubby people, maybe us two, wouldn't be able to fit in it. A chubby person and a small person mm. could fit. It's um, fun when you go by yourself. Too. Ride it by yourself. It's because really you fun because you just slide everywhere. Everyone. I've seen a lot of people who are even thin ride it by themselves because they just get a lot more fun out of it. Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's a lot more fun. If you Don't let your kids go place. if they're little though by themselves. You want to sit there with someone because they kind of go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, the next ride is Luigi's. Luigi's. That's definitely not a too chubby person. No. Ride. You want to because of the seatbelt doesn't. It has to. It go doesn't extend. Both of you, so it doesn't extend. So you're gonna wanna um, separate and then go from there. Uh, maybe ride two different cars. Um, I would say a chubby that, person and a small person can go. Like a, yeah. skinny, a skinny person. Yeah. Like a thin, if thick, you have thin a person. child with you, you can yeah. have a child with you, you know, things like that. But uh, two chubby people. Mm -mm. I wouldn't chance it just so that you don't feel embarrassed or you're like, oh, I don't wanna get embarrassed. Because, you know, people, I, I admit, I do it too. Um, you know, like, oh, I don't wanna do that. Well, I would say just to be on the safe side ride them separately <laughs> it's a really fun ride too yeah. especially if you ride it by yourself because yeah, i don't want to give it away but there's one part that you're like oh this is so fun um but the next ride racers. is racers and that you guys i'll tell you this chubby friendly yeah no problem the only thing uh, i do recommend is just like if you're gonna get into the matterhorn <gasps> you're gonna want to uh, like yeah put your butt to the seat first and then mm -hmm. slide in and the same thing like get your legs underneath you and then push up because that thing is low yeah you know well for especially for taller people yeah. for me it's not a problem i can jump in jump out i'm short i don't really need that much leg room to jump out um but i would say if you um sit next to i would if you're a bigger person sit in the middle so that this way if you need someone to help you buckle your seatbelt you don't feel like embarrassed or you don't want to ask same someone. thing pull the seatbelt out then sit down and buckle it you know yeah. that way it's a lot easier to get but cast yeah. members are willing to help you and they're so discreet and they're so nice about things they're like okay hold on hun and they'll help you no problem like they don't they don't sit there and discriminate against you or anything like that but um i would also say no turnstiles no turnstiles in any of these rides that we have talked about because people always ask about that no turnstiles no anything else that you have to worry about within the line queue anything like that so yeah definitely chubby friendly and definitely a fun ride and i would definitely get there early to get a fast pass because they go very fast <laughs> sorry everybody okay we have a little friend with us right now our cat's just going crazy um the next thing that we Jinx it. <laughs> Jinx it. okay so the next thing that i would say you would go through if you keep on going straight if you exit back out keep on going straight you hit up little mermaid so yeah. you're getting into like the main part of the park where you can see like the world of color there's like a man-made lake uh, fisherman's wharf all kinds of stuff like that 
The first ride is Little Mermaid. And basically it's just a lap bar. It's the same thing like Haunted Mansion, basically, if you've ever been on Haunted mm -hmm. Mansion. But you just get in a big old shell. Mm -hmm. And it's just one lap bar. There's no like anything special. We both fit in a shell, fine. We're like, can we get a shell? Let's do this. Yeah. And we get in fine, no problem. I've seen bigger people than us get in there and they're fine. Yeah, no um, problems with that. I've seen like a family all. of four get in one shell one time and I was like, okay, do your thing. Um, <laughs> the next rides would be the pier. Yeah, the Pixar Pier. So Pixar Pier, um, everyone always asks. I'm a big person, I'm bigger chested, I'm heavier on the bottom, I'm a big person, this, that, and whatever your body shape may be. I always get questions. Can we ride in credit coaster? Oh yeah. You can ride in credit coaster. Oh yeah. There's no no problem. problem. Everybody can ride that. I think they get worried because it goes upside down in a loop. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. You're I've been on it several times, like several no times, and no problem. Um, our yeah. brother-in-law is yeah, a bigger a big dude. Guy. Like he's he looks like he can play for like the Sandy. Oh, oops, not the San Diego Chargers no more. He looks like he can play on a football team. And he gets on that ride, no problem. It's his favorite ride, and he rides it all the time. Yeah. So I would recommend try it. And if anything, um, if the cast member will say no, yes, you can always ask the cast member ahead of time to get on any of these rides. If you feel that you can't get through a turnstile, or you feel like you have turnstile phobia, I've seen this. It's a real thing. Um, you can always ask a cast member, and they can tell you, you know what, this is what it would. If you feel comfortable, if you feel this, if you feel that, whatever the case may be. Also, on close rides such as racers and stuff like that, um, even other rides at Disneyland, you can ask to fit comfortably so they won't put a person next to you. And that always works for some people too. So yes, you can fit on a coaster. It's just yeah. basically, what is it? Like a restraint that goes over? Yeah, it's just a, a regular roller coaster thing that mm -hmm. comes down. No seatbelt, right? No, no seatbelt. Okay, I haven't been on you it in a while. You put your stuff in the front. Just make sure you don't bring a lot of stuff with you. Yeah, or have someone down. hold it for you while you go on. The next thing that's also on the pier is the Pixar Pal Around, AKA Mickey's Wheel of Death. <laughs> um, it used to be um, Mickey's Pal Around or something like that when I went on it. Um, they either have swinging, the sw it's basically um, a fun wheel or a Ferris wheel. Yeah. And I mean, they're cages, they're cages. So you could sit like for two, Two people, two people, sometimes they'll load them up and you just sit face to face like in a cage. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to do the swinging thing, there's swinging there's and there's regular. Are static ones that are just... And they just go around. But the swinging ones. Oh. Those are like crazy. I've never been on it, so I don't know. I've been um, on it. But I'll never do that again. Crazy. She didn't want to ride it, so. I'll ride the still ride one. Me. I'll ride the still one. I will not go on the other one. You're but if you want to ride yourself. it with me, hit me up. <laughs> I'll go. And it's basically just two doors that open this way. Roll on in and roll on out. Just like um, Guardians of the Galaxy, because I don't have anybody to ride. No, I don't ride that. So I have to get a, a ride partner. So, if you want a ride partner, I'm here. Down. Um, the next ride that is on the pier is Midway Mania. It's basically like Astro Blasters. It's Toy Story. Um, it's 3D glasses, 3D glasses, and you just get in like this, like this cart thing, and it's just and a lap bar. Stuff. You shoot stuff. It's just a lap bar and a small gate, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, getting in tube like a hamster you know shuffling around your chub oh, chub yeah like it's perfectly fine just a lap bar no problem um i don't think there's any turns out on any of these rides the next ride is um now on the pier is called emotional whirlwind mm -hmm. and it's um from inside out inside out i wrote that when it was flicks flyers and bugs land which is not there no more they repurposed the ride and i fit fine it's basically just like a little cart the door opens and you can put two people and two people or one person and one person, depending on how big you are. Mm -hmm. And like me and him can get in it. Two people, fine, we just face each other. Um, they also have handicap doors for that. So if you feel like you can't fit through the door or you don't want, if you have some type of issue or whatever the case may be, you can ask for one of those and the cast member will kindly put you in one of those. Mm -hmm. So the door will open wider for you. Um, no problem, it just goes round. If, if you need to pay attention though, if you get motion sickness and you just need to go frontwards, make sure to sit in the seat that faces forward. Yeah. Um, the next ride is Mickey's Silly Symphony Swings. Oh. Or Silly Symphony Swings, I don't know. Um, they're just like those swings that you have at like the carnival. Yeah, it's just carnival rides. Mm -hmm. And it's just like very carnival riders, you know. Um, like I've seen big people get on them. I personally don't get on them because I've seen really bad videos about that. So I just don't do it because I just don't trust part of the rides. Um, 
And even if I was thinner, I still don't think I would do it. I used to do it back in my days when I was thinner and younger, but now I'm like, mm, no, no. Um, but I've seen bigger people get on it. It's just um, the, you sit in a little rattan chair and the little bar goes over and you're on those little, those little chains mm -hmm. and it just goes around. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The next ride is Jumping Jellyfish. It's basically like a little baby drop ride, but I don't get on it because I just don't like drop rides. Yeah. Um, but I've seen bigger people get on it. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's no problem. It's just a lap bar that goes over, believe yeah, it or not. It's a really nice, cool, it's a cool view to look at. Really nice yeah, you're gonna have to do it next time and like film it. it. That yeah. would be fun. And then across from that um, is Goofy. Goofy's Sky School. Uh -huh. uh, I went on it back in the day when it was Mulholland Madness? Is that how you say Mulholland? Mulholland Drive? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mulholland Madness, and I hated that ride. Mm -hmm. I hate it. It's just like one of those- It's very small. It's so very small. Know, like, I've seen thinner people, people have a hard time getting on that ride. Yeah, so- There's uh, like this bar thing that has to come down. Yeah, I would, and then you I have to like try scrunch. it out first, because um, I haven't ridden it yet, so I really can't, couldn't tell you if, it, if, it's, if it's bulky for my size, but um, I, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people that I know that are my Bigger. size, or bigger, they've had issues with it, yeah. but they still ride it. It's not but comfortable. Barely. It's not comfortable, so I don't know if you want to really like take the chance. You're not really risking it. You're not missing anything. You're not, missing, anything you're not missing much. It's just a little roller coaster. It's one of those off-the-shelf yeah. rides that was just put there. It's not anything like a dark ride or anything. You're not missing a story. But it is, it is an old-school roller coaster there. So yeah. So if you're into the nostalgia thing, yeah. Um, the next ride is the zipper. Zephyr. The Zephyr. Yeah. And it's basically like a big old this Airstream is, ship uh, thing balloon, yeah, they're, they're that you just go round and round. I believe they just have like little seat belts in there. Yeah. And I think they're to individual persons. Yeah. So I think you'll be fine. You're, fine. you're fine. Yeah. And I don't think there's a turnstile, but I do believe you have to walk upstairs. So just, yeah, if you're so. kind of goofy with stairs, let them know. They'll probably let you take like the little ramp or something up. Or not a ramp, um, elevator. Because I think, think there's an elevator there. I'm not too sure. Uh -huh. I don't know, we don't ride that ride because it just goes in circles. We got, I think we got it on it once. I think you did. I didn't I, get I on it. I got it once. Because yeah. I'm like, that's just boring. And it's 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 not one of my favorite rides. So like I, I tend to stay over my cars like because I love cars. Yeah, yeah, we tend or to circulate in that little pocket. If I do go to um anywhere else, it's Pixar Pier or Garden of the Galaxy. But when And I love when, Ariel. When Avengers Campus opens up, yeah. that's when I yeah, that's true. But Avengers Campus is going to be right next to Cars Land, so we'll still be in that little area. Yeah. So <laughs> but that's, that's it for DCA, I that's think, with the ride. Tougher. You guys, you know, it's very friendly for chubby people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you, do, you will walk a lot. So yeah, for some reason, I feel like we walk like a it's, lot. It's a further yeah. walk than anything on like, I don't know why, but it just feels like it's a further walk. Um, but. Um, it is very chubby friendly, mm -hmm. so you shouldn't have a problem being on any of the rides, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, enjoy yourself, have fun, and don't get embarrassed, you know, and if you have any questions or whatever, hit us up. Alright guys, so that's a wrap. Um, we hope you liked the video. Sorry it took so long to get, to get it done, you know, but, hey, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Alright, so don't forget, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and also turn on those notification icon. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. To get notified when we post new videos. Big chubs, little chubs, out.